and I'm worried about the youth. Sixty-nine percent of the population is 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 are young people. They have no jobs. They've been hit by fatalism. A, a pastor will fill a stadium. Sixty thousand people can go to the national sports stadium, uh, where you are told that uh, if you buy this anointed cloth, you can go and rob a car, any car you want, and you. That's fatalism. Uh, that's fatalism, and our people are flocking to those churches. Our people are flocking to 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 to, to wish doctors. Uh, 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 young women are being told do this to get to get married. People have forgotten that there's something called education and the dignity of education, and that that education is the only sangoma in the world that is worth talking about. That education is the only passport you need. That education is the only spectacles you need. Uh, but that, unfortunately, uh, has been undermined. And how can it not be undermined when graduates uh, are selling tomatoes in the in, in airtime, and graduates are waiters uh, in Santon and in Cape Town? So this is what we need to salvage. This is what we need to so salvage. Which is why I said at the beginning, the political question is a is a, is a, is a precondition uh, to Zimbabwe moving forward. What we have lost uh, uh, tremendously. Uh, is 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 a mindset. I I see a very polarized uh, Zimbabwe. I see that the liberation movement is exhausted, but the liberation movement has created toxicity and intolerance. Leaders of the liberation movement are not leaders of Zimbabwe. President political parties, they are president of a faction of the ruling uh, a, a, a party. And, and where you have liberation movements, and Mzala, you are the historian. If you look at uh, liberation movements that participated in wars, liberation wars that took a long time, uh, and I make reference to, to Frelimo in, 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 in Mozambique. I make reference to the MPLA in Angola. These liberation movements have got so many things in common. And, 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 and there are three that I want to highlight. The first one is the culture uh, of entitlement. We can get anything we want because we liberated you. Uh, we can get farms. Uh, right now, they're going through another process of verif 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 verification so that they can, they can loot and, and, and so forth. We want land. We deserve a, a, a special allocation of, of stands and so forth. Uh, they are the, the, the first on the queue when Operation Maguta, Operation uh, 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 Commander Agriculture comes and, and so forth. So the culture of entitlement, of entitlement is, is killing us. The culture of impunity is, is killing us. They get away with everything. They get away with anything because they liberated uh, uh, us. Then finally, is this uh, zero-sum mindset, a winner-take-all mentality, a scorched earth mentality. No one should govern this country unless you've got the page of the liberation struggle. Remember the statement that uh, Jinagashi made in 2001 on the eve of the uh, March 11 uh, election when he said uh, the, it's a straight jacket, only a person who fought in the liberation struggle uh, should govern this country. And, 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 and I'm afraid uh, there are many who believe in that, uh, in that, uh, in that, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know philosophy. So, so we've got a, a long way to go, uh, which is why I said uh, uh, that the biggest challenge we'll face is not uh, uh, the mechanical uh, things that we can deal with. You know, you can, you can achieve a GDP growth rate. It's quantifiable. It's empirical. It's the non-empirical stuff that Zimbabwe will, will grapple with. The, the value system, U -U Ubuntu, our African world. If you look at the levels of intolerance here on Twitter, the levels of intolerance, the levels of toxicity, the, some of the language, I, I, you know, if you start the Rwanda, the language that is used is very close to Rwanda in April 1994. It's the language of genocide. And when they use language, they must dehumanize you. In Rwanda, they had to call the Tutsis cockroaches in order to justify a crushing 
uh, you know you know you know the cockroaches we use the same language in zimbabwe and 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 because because uh, you know there has to be a delegitimization so i see a lot of people without uh, conscience uh, what what ts Eliot calls the hollow man men without eyes in their conscience and and that is the problem uh, and i say men deliberately because most of them are men they wear trousers uh, long ugly trousers and so that is the problem with the, uh, with the Zimbabwe. And I hope that we can change this. I hope that... Uh,